Some days I love this job. Today is not one of those days. A Haunted House 2 finds Marlon Wayans writing, producing, and starring in this sequel that tries to blend parody, horror, and comedy, but ends up failing at all three. Sure, there are some sequels where we all ask why, but in this case, I think the question is better stated as, Dear God in Heaven, why? This is just a bad movie in so many ways. I mean, seriously, how do you even finish making this movie? How in a movie like this, does somebody not wake up halfway through filming and say, uh, hey guys, we're sure we're committed to releasing this thing? Speaking of committed, I will give Marlon that one thing. He's definitely committed. We'll go ahead and call it the best thing, since otherwise there really wouldn't be one. But Marlon goes after this material like it was everything to him. Unfortunately, it only adds up to a sort of cinematic constipation. Lots of facial contortions, pain and effort, and then all you have to show for it is, well, you get the idea. My point is, this movie is awful in every way. I'll just highlight a few. First, the humor. There is none. Seriously. Even though I didn't like the first one, at least there were a couple moments I chuckled at. This one, nothing. It relies so heavily on vulgarity and racism to make you laugh that the whole experience is just uncomfortable. Second, the scares. None of those either. Not that that's a surprise. A movie like this isn't really supposed to be scary, is it? It's supposed to be a parody, right? Yeah, well, it fa fails there too. Parodying movies and, mo and moments from movies that many of us just haven't even seen. If any of it is recognizable, it would probably be the stuff that references The Conjuring, but most of the time I was thinking, wait, what was that from again? And I'm the guy that sees every movie. What I'm saying is it's hard to consider yourself a parody when the source material has such little cultural reference to begin with. And who is this movie for anyway? The horror fan? The comedy fan? The weigh-ins fan? The Venn diagram just doesn't seem like it would connect those three very well. At the end of the day, A Haunted House 2 tries desperately to be something more than a cheap series of pop culture slams and crude actions, and completely fails. It lands the rare F. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. Stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. But first, I'm going to throw some stuff up over here you can click on if you want. If you want to subscribe, which I'd very much appreciate, you can do that by clicking the big gray subscribe button. Want to see more? Simply click over here to see reviews for the Disney Nature Doc Bears, Transcendence, or Heaven is for Real. You can also click the logo right up here to go to yourmoviefriend.com where you can search by title for reviews. And finally, this review's best ever challenge where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify my choice. What is the best movie parody ever? Mine's easy. Initial.